All right, here we are recording for YouTube again. Um, there was a brief pause with the, the phone call that I had gotten, and so I turned off the Do Not Disturb um, button. Um, and so um, we already, in our last video, or the one that I just did, we mixed up all of our dry ingredients. So we mixed up our one and a half cups of rice flour, um, or cream of rice, our one fourth cup of sugar, our tablespoon of baking powder, our half teaspoon of salt, and a fourth cup of raisins. Now we put in here, um, we put in here with the wet ingredients, three fourths cups of milk, two eggs, and now I'm putting in the second banana or second plantain. It's nice and ripe, just for making banana bread. All right. <laughs> All right, got that in there. Um, and then a half a cup of vegetable oil is what it's going to ask for. So we've gotten to the bottom of our wet ingredients here. This is the second part of our um, cook along for making Liberian rice bread and the um, Recipe is found on food.com and was submitted by the user engrossed. So a half a cup of vegetable oil it asks for. So it's our wet ingredients here. Um, and then we're going to whisk these together. Now first I'm going to mash the banana. I made a mistake. I probably should have put the banana in first and mashed it. But we'll do our best here. To mash this banana up. Or this plantain. Now this is even a little bit more challenging than an actual banana using this plantain here and trying to mash it up. So you can use plantains or you can use bananas. It's not separating the best like it could. And in the meantime, while I mash it, I'm actually whisking together these eggs and the milk and the oil. So I'm kind of just mashing the banana on the side of the bowl. And because this is a plantain, it's more, even more challenging to work with. It's a little more challenging to try to mash up. It's better. It's getting better. Be able to whisk it soon. Let's get in there. So I'm just mashing up my bananas right now. My guess is that it's probably best um, if you make this recipe to mash the bananas first um, or use more of a, um, a better option for mashing it than just using a fork. And then after that, you're gonna whisk the ingredients together Alright, it's getting there. It's taking a little longer because I did not mash the bananas ahead of time. So I'm kind of just mashing them right now. Or the plantains here. It's looking nice though. Give it another 30 seconds of mashing, then I think it'll be 
mass just enough and then what we're going to do is we're going to whisk together all of our wet ingredients. Yeah, it's it's getting better here. It's mashing up. Okay. So let's whisk together our ingredients. This is almost done and so what we'll do when I'm finished with this um, is I will put it in the oven and then tomorrow when I come back on I'm hoping for no more interruptions on my phone um, tomorrow when we come back on um, I will show you the the finished product of the jollof rice that we made and I will show you the finished product of this Liberian right banana rice bread um, and we'll also talk about what we've learned about Liberia. All right, so we've whisked this together. Now the goal of a cook-along is that you will go and you will buy these ingredients and you will make them with me. Um, so when this video is over, you can find a time, if you're already watching on Facebook, you can find a time to gather these ingredients and join me um, and make it yourself. That's the whole purpose of a cook-along. All right, so I've finished here whisking together all of my wet ingredients. And then, to get the raisins are in there. Um, we're going to add the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients. So I'll put this right into here into my dry ingredients. And then we're going to mix it, the batter thoroughly. before putting into our pan, our pre, our pre greased pan. And we have our oven preheated to 325 degrees. So right now you're going to mix the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients and you're going to mix it thoroughly. So we're mixing it together thoroughly. I'm just about done mixing it. Alright, and so now we're going to put it into our prepared greased pan. Uh. 
And it could be a nine inch loaf pan or a round loaf pan. I have, I'll just use this up here. No. And you are going to cook this, bake this in your oven for 50 minutes or until a knife inserted in the center comes out clean. And then you can cool it on a pan for five minutes before turning it out on a rack to finish cooling. Um, so that is it here for our cook along. Yesterday we made jollof rice. Um, and today we just made our Liberian rice bread and we're going to put this in the oven. Tomorrow I'm going to come on in our next video. We're going to talk about what we've learned about Liberia and I'll have the food in front of me. Um, and I will show you the final product of both recipes. And we'll also talk about um, Liberia um, and I'll sing the Liberian national anthem. So thank you so much for joining me and have an awesome day.